that in a 65-65 tie, it was into overtime. And that meant a whole new ball game. North Carolina State picked up the tip off, but Thompson's jumper bounced off the rim. After a great save by Wilkes, the Bruins lost the ball out of bounds. And then Burleson's turnaround gave the pack first blood. UCLA worked the ball to Greg Lee, who hit from 22 feet out to knock the score at 67 all. Burleson was fouled by Myers. But he missed his chance to salt it away. Stoddard stole the ball back, and State was looking for the clincher. But Burleson's last second effort fell short. The drama was heightened now beyond anyone's expectations. Double overtime in the NCAA semifinals between the nation's top two college teams. Both teams regroup. If Coach Wooden's confidence in his seven-year national championship string was shaken, he didn't betray it. State again controlled the tip-off. After Thompson missed a long shot at 432, Walton was fouled by Burleson. The lanky All-American sank both ends of the one-and-one -one set, and now UCLA showed why they were perennial champions. After Burleson's shot was disallowed for goaltending, Walton hit a jumper at 350 for a four-point Bruin advantage. Mo Rivers was off target on the return for the Carolinians' cause, and Burleson lost the ball out of bounds. UCLA worked the ball to Keith Wilkes, and the Wolfpack watched him finesse his way to a picture-perfect three-point play and a 74-67 edge, which seemed to ensure victory with only 3.27 to play. But the Wolf Pack poise, of which Norm Sloan was so proud, surfaced again in a time of real adversity. With the pressure mounting, little playmaker Monty Toe hit back-to-back -back free throws. UCLA's Tommy Curtis was fouled by the overeager toe, and he proceeded to put through the first of two tries from the line to maintain a six-point bowl. But Stoddard snared the rebound. Coming down court in a desperate situation, Dave Thompson tipped his own shot back in at the 301 mark to draw within four points. The pack was back. The Bruins seemed to have lost control of the game and they proceeded to lose the ball to Stoddard and Rivers with 1.57 to go. Burleson was playing with real fire and forced Walton into a foul. He hit the first point, but missed the second. Stoddard pulled it down. But the Wolfpack missed on three separate attempts. Ending with Monty Toe's miscue from the corner at 116. And this time, UCLA got the rebound. Myers was promptly fouled. And with a one and one coming up, he had a chance to put it on ice for the Bruins' eighth national championship in a row. He missed, 
Thompson cleared the boards and the Wolfpack drove down court. The feed went back to Thompson, who hit a driving bank shot to put Staten the lead 76-75 as the crowd roared its approval. The Bruins set up Lee for a clear shot from 15 feet, but he missed it. Wilkes rebounded, but was called for pushing Thompson to game board position. Thompson made both of these all-important shots, and the Pack had a 78-75 lead with only 34 seconds left. But it was Tom Burleson, appropriately, who capped the lid. With 27 seconds showing on the clock, he intercepted a lead of Walton Pack. State tried to stall, but Toe was fouled by Curtis. And his final two free throws put the game out of reach and Greensboro Coliseum erupted in celebration. Final score in double overtime, North Carolina State 80, UCLA 77. <laughs>